Well, hello there! It's that time again! Yes, it is. It is time for our weekly tarot and astrology reading here on this cloudy Sunday morning of May the 15th of 2022. And as usual, I am going to go over some uh, Tarot de Marcy tarot cards that I've drawn at random for our upcoming week, followed by some astrology, which will be particularly interesting. So please stay tuned. Okay, in a moment, three Tarot de Marseille Trump tarot cards are going to come onto the screen and cover my face. The cards I drew at random for this week's reading are the World, the Chariot, and the Magician. The Lady in the World card, she's standing in the middle of her wreath of victory or isolation, however you want to see it, surrounded and protected by four Carabic animals. She holds in her hand a wand. She's looking towards the left, which we could presume to be the direction of the past. The charioteer is looking at her in his chariot, as if saying, okay, when you're ready, we can go for a ride. But you can't as long as you're standing in the middle of your wreath. You can't move. You're immobile. The magician watches closely. Depending on what the lady of the world does, He's going to use his tools to assist it, perhaps, and make it happen as he's upholding his wand, waiting to know what to do. Now, when we have all three cards facing towards the left, it's interesting to see what are they really looking at. There's something off the stage. There's something out of the scene that we're not seeing. So we go ahead and draw another card. It's not going to appear on the screen, but the card I drew is the lovers and the lovers is indecisiveness look at this poor fellow two women tugging on him trying to pull him in different directions cupid above with his arrow ready to say okay i'll help you i'll help you make a decision i'll shoot you with the arrow maybe you'll know what to do so as long as we're undecided as long as we're not making a decision about something that may have been bothering us for a while we can't move forward this is an important point. We need to make a decision. We need to overcome that indecisiveness. And then we can get on the chariot and use that to our best benefit and do it intelligently with the technology available to the magician. Now looking at our astrology, we have a full moon tonight in the sign of Scorpio. We also have a total eclipse of the moon, known as a blood moon, because the moon can be seen as red. Now, a full moon is not something I usually do magic on. Uh, I generally leave it alone. Some people like to do a lot of stuff on full moon and have full moon ceremonies. I see it as a total culmination of lunar energy, and I see the day after that, and days after that day, to be good for banishing, getting rid of things. I don't do magic during an eclipse because it's an absence of light. And when the light is not there, the angelic action is not really there. That's what my tradition teaches me. So I don't do magic on full moons. I especially don't do anything during a solar or lunar eclipse. I really do leave that alone. However, this next week is good for again banishing, getting rid of stuff that we don't want, we don't need. Again, it could be situations, it could be even people, you know, people you don't need around you, uh, possessions, or just attitudes, stuff that gets in your way, you know, fears, inhibitions, sense of lack, sense of motiva lack of motivation, you know, all these things are things that we can work on getting rid of. As far as the planets go, Saturn is still in Aquarius, a sign that it rules in traditional astrology. So it's very strong. Uh, Venus has gone into Aries, a sign that's not good for it. It's uh, Aries is ruled by Mars. It's a warrior energy. So it, it doesn't really fit with the tender love and creativity of Venus, so to speak. Mercury is very strong in the sign of Gemini. All right, So my uh, people with their Gemini moons are going to find their minds to be perhaps very strong. Uh, also, you may find that your mind will kind of overweigh your emotions a bit because Gemini is, of course, very mental, a strong Mercury-ruled sign. And with that, 
I think that's going to conclude our reading today. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you watching the reading. I really do. I love you. Until I see you next week, many, many blessings.